Today's day and age, I find it really hard to be a fan of something. When I do become a fan of something, I tend to gravitate it towards a lot. And one of the things I gravitate towards a lot is wrestling. Now when I say that, there is one phrase that comes to mind that will make any wrestling fan mad, and it's just a generally stupid thing to say to a wrestling fan, which is... No, it's fake, right? No, it's fake, right? And really, it's not even like the action of calling it fake that makes it so annoying to hear that phrase said. It's the fact that they think we don't know it's fake and the fact that they think they're revealing something mind-blowing. You I liked wrestling. Percent. Yeah. Still do. Dude, you know that fake, right? Everybody knows that's so fake, I don't Brad. get. I don't get it. Then. But that's like saying, do you like movies? Well, you know that's, movies. that you know they're fake, though, right? This clip is just a pretty good example of how stupid you tend to sound when you utter the words, you know that shit is fake, right? I want you to keep in mind this. He said this to Chris Van Vliet. Now, if you don't watch wrestling, you have no idea who Chris Van Vliet is, probably. However, if you do, you know this guy is kind of like the interviewer the journalist of wrestling and stuff he has the insider stuff with wrestlers he interviews them all the time if anyone knows it's fake it's gonna be this guy and really the point he brings up is the point i always like to bring up if you're gonna sit there and be like you know that shit is fake right get off of marvel movies get off of dc get off of whatever the fuck you're watching and go sit down and watch a morgan freeman documentary if that's how much you care about realism if you care that much about not watching fiction go watch a fucking underwater documentary commentated by morgan freeman when you already know the undertaker's gonna take out freaking triple r or whatever triple h, yeah, come triple on. h. <laughs> You already know it going into it. But that would be like saying you're going into a movie knowing that Tom Cruise isn't actually Maverick. No, it isn't. It isn't the same at all. Why isn't it the same? It's not real. Do you know who's going to win when you're... the audience doesn't know? So you do you? No, I don't know. <laughs> well, no. you're in the audience, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that's like when you go to see any film, you don't know which characters are going to die or fall in love or whatever. I'm telling you this right now, I can tell by the fact that that man went out of his way to say triple R instead of saying triple H that he 1000% used to watch wrestling and is just too ashamed to admit it. One does not know The Undertaker and one does not have an idea of Triple H's name if you did not watch wrestling at some point. It's such a douchey thing to do when, to sit there and intentionally mess up a wrestler's name that you know damn well the name to. It's no damn triple fucking R and you know that. Everyone knows that. Triple R doesn't even have a good fucking ring to it, nor does it even make sense nor does it even make sense for a fucking name. The the thing that just it tends to piss me off the most with the whole this shit is fake is people like to think they're superior for thinking that way. They like to think they have better entertainment than you. They like to think that what they watch is 10 times better than what you watch because that shit is fake. And everything that you're watching, whether it be on TV, whether it be a movie, it's fake. It's gonna be fake 99% of the time unless you're watching documentaries exclusively. Which, I don't know about you guys, that does not sound like a fun life to me. Goddamn same. One of them is real. One no, of them I is I didn't people say, that's what I that said. are battling for their life yeah. in the most difficult contest Absolutely. in all of one of some weird fucking jerk off thing that, that strange <laughs> right. guys do when they sit in front of the TV and pretend they don't know it's fake. I feel as though bald white men are incapable of having good opinions, especially if they have a podcast. Joe, I can promise you this. Not a single wrestling fan is pretending that this shit is not fake. Not a single wrestling fan is looking at these motherfuckers and thinking, yeah, that is the right move to do in a fight. Yes, if I am in a street fight, I am going to hit a moonsault on somebody. I promise you, not a single fucking wrestling fan is thinking about pulling out a fucking spine buster in the middle of a UFC fight. I don't know what type of people you'd be hanging out with who try and pretend that something that's fake isn't fake, 
Like, do you hang out with people who are watching Marvel movies and are genuinely acting like the Marvel movie is happening in real? Do you think that Peter Parker is actually swinging around New York right now as we fucking speak? People that love real fighting, that have a real hard time with these fake WWE style scenarios. I don't like that kind of shit bleeding into MMA. I think it's dumb. <laughs> I notice a lot of the times that the people who shit on WWE typically tend to be huge MMA fans, which really makes sense to me because I feel like you do have to be a special type of person to like MMA, especially like the fighters. I don't understand how you can sit around and hate on WWE and then root for a motherfucker like Sean Strickland. Really? Sean Strickland would be released from a WWE contract the day he set foot. Sean Strickland fucking wouldn't last a second in WWE because he fucking sucks at everything. It is bewildering to me that people who sit around and watch guys like Sean Strickland sit there, see this, and not fucking think that's cool and hate on that. You like Sean Strickland fighting. You like Sean Strickland talking. You like Sean Strickland. I don't understand how you can look at this fucking buffoon right here who looks like he fucks his own sister and you can sit there and be like, this is entertaining. I like this guy. I want my kids to watch this guy fight. How can you sit there and say, I want my kids to watch this guy say disgusting things in his fucking pre-fight interviews? And that's the other thing. I would figure UFC fans would like WWE because they get to talk shit. They talk crazier shit in WWE than they do in UFC. Somehow, they don't like that. The only good parts about the UFC is when someone gets knocked out or the pre-fight interviews when those go and get heated everything else is just fucking all right yeah how big is fucking wrestlemania that's Dude. crazy huge that is crazy when you look at that many people there for that they come what from a successful fucking event jaw, it's stunned that audience a fucking simple card trick thing is gayer than musicals how about that it happens at wrestlemania i mean that you're sounds definitely like a gonna watch highlights <laughs> 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 fuck is wrong with you it's hard it's hard to give a shit about fake fights crazy and i'd watch lions killing gazelles on television because that's real that's what i do i'd grab my laptop and i'd be like yeah you watch this fake shit all day i need real i need real i can't get entertained by fake i'm convinced joe rogan never evolved past the neanderthal stage because why is he even fucking talking about i i rather chase gazelle i rather hunt gazelle with spear oh Dude, you're a literal fucking caveman if you think that way. You're definitely not homo sapien. That'd be amazing if you were there. Uh, physically? No. When you're watching the WWE, you know that it's scripted. No disrespect to the wrestlers or anything like that, but one of the reasons why the audience will act like that is because they, they could feel that it's not real. It's all horseshit. Yeah. They're, just, they're, they're like trying to suck excitement out of, out of the air. Joe, what even is the logic with that one? The crowd gets excited because they know it's fake. It doesn't fucking make sense, Joe. The fans get excited because they don't know what's gonna happen. The fans get excited because fucking shit like this happens. The fans get excited because fucking motherfuckers be getting hurt and by doing crazy shit. They get excited because the person we want to win may or may not win. People get excited for the same exact reason you get excited watching a UFC fight. For the same exact reason people get excited watching a Marvel movie. It's not a hard thing to grasp. It's just not getting through that bald noggin of yours. I'd rather watch like a really good fiction in somewhere i know it's going to be good yeah all like, the time not every now and then a guy tries to mouth fuck a dude with a sock on his hand Buck lesnar beat the undertaker nobody <laughs> thought it was going to happen oh my god what did they do tony imagine if on saturday <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you imagine nobody thought it was going to happen it was amazing it was fake as fuck dude joe i'm about to fucking blow what very little mind you have left in your skull uwe is a fiction. It's exactly what you just described. It's a really good fiction. That's what WWE is. I don't know how the hell you managed to sit there and say that and not realize that you sound fucking mentally handicapped. Joe, you just said I would rather watch a really good fiction over a really good fiction. That's stupid. That's like saying I don't want to watch Marvel because it's that dumb superhero shit. So I'm gonna go watch DC instead. Like what the fuck are you talking about, Joe? Fine, fine. How does Joe Rogan not understand the concept of an underdog or an upset victory? You watch the UFC, you out of all people should know why something like Brock Lesnar bending the Undertaker would be unexpected and would be this big thing. You know how underdog works because there are underdogs and there are upsets that happen in UFC. You were on your knees fucking 
for Sean Strickland after he upset Israel Adesanya. So I don't understand how you can sit there and not try to understand what a fucking upset is. That's really all I have to say about this, though. So I will. Dude, you know that fake, right? Wait, what? Goddamn no. saying. One of them is no. real. Lion, no. No. No, no. No. No, it's lies. It's lies. No, it couldn't have been. It's all just, it's all just a lie. Roman. Liars. This Cena, Ray, you all, you all lied to me. There's, there's no point in going on. I, I, you did this, you liars. There is no more point.